For Pauline Janelli, this is one of the last hairstyles she will do at her Astoria salon. She goes to your head. Very, very sad. It's like giving away my firstborn. The salon first opened in 1977, nearly 50 years ago. At the time, Janelli was working at a nearby salon but opened her own space on Steinway Street when business started to boom. I had 14 stylists. We did great. We were so busy and it was such a wonderful atmosphere. The clients were wonderful. The staff was even better. The space is filled with history, like this old Mac computer that still works or these paper Rolodexes. Since their birthday is next week or they had a communion and I can remember those things and bring it up to them. There's even decades old photos of staff and clients celebrating holidays together. We go way back and this very good, good memories. Unfortunately, we're going to be closing. But over the last several years, business started to slow and bills grew. When the pandemic hit, things took a turn for the worse. A few months ago, when Janelli got an offer for the building, she felt she had no choice but to sell. Maybe it's time. I've been here so long. Maybe it's time. Maybe I need to open up other doors in my life. Elizabeth Rao has been a hairstylist at the salon for 43 years. She's devastated by the closing. This is like, like, like a death to me, you know? I mean, the people that come in, they say goodbye just to me. I say goodbye to many, many people, and I'm afraid I'm never going to see them again, and I really, it really hurts me. Thank you. Thank you for being such a loyal customer. Friday, many customers showed up to say goodbye. 55-year-old Patrick Zick has been coming to the salon since he was 15. After he met his wife, Jennifer, she fell in love with the place, too. This is a cultural icon, and um, it's always been here, and everybody seems to know this is the haircutting place in, in Astoria. These are all the brides we've done over all the years. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Janelli is hoping to reopen a smaller salon in the future. This community is a good community. You know, it's changing. So I care about the area. I care about what's going on here. And I hope it gets better, and I hope it changes back to the way it was. All these customers say they will follow her wherever she goes. In Astoria, Queens, Kieran Dillon, Pix11 News.